Hi, I'm Colin. Today we're going to continue our series of videos showing you things that you can do at home. Now I don't know about you, but I love raisins. I just can't get enough of them. Mmm, really good. Now, obviously, for today's experiment you're going to need raisins. And you're also going to need a bottle of lemonade. A two litre bottle like this is good. Now, what we need to do is get the bottle and take the lid off without too much fizz. Put it to one side and then take one raisin. Drop it in the top and let's see what happens. Now it sinks to the bottom because obviously it's heavier than the lemonade, but look quickly, straight to the surface again, then the bubbles burst. And all the bubbles have burst one by one. Almost there. It's going to sink back down to the bottom again, and exactly the same thing is going to happen. Now why do you think that is? We'll watch it one more time. Very fizzy lemonade, so a lot of bubbles to burst. Here it goes, there you go, down to the bottom again. Now, when down to the bottom, bubbles are going to go and accumulate on it again, and a bit of luck, it'll shoot back to the top again. There you go, up it goes, see? All the way to the top. The best thing about this experiment, other than the fact that it's an excuse to eat raisins, is that it demonstrates a principle called buoyancy. Buoyancy is a measure of how much something floats in a liquid. Now in our experiment, when the raisin first enters the lemonade, it's not very buoyant at all, and it sinks straight to the bottom. But when it's on the bottom, bubbles of carbon dioxide that are in the lemonade form on its surface. And because these bubbles are lighter than the lemonade, they float to the top, taking the raisin with them. This is just like you wearing a rubber ring at the swimming pool. Now when the raisin gets to the top, the bubbles burst, and so the raisin loses its buoyancy and sinks back to the bottom again. Okay, that's all for today. So until next time, remember, science is fun.